Developing tonight, this dramatic video shows a shooting in broad daylight in Orlando. The suspects cut off a truck and then start shooting at the people inside. A four-year-old girl and a man were hit. Yeah, the two people behind us, well, they're behind bars in connection with that shooting. And Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie is live outside the police department this evening. So, Hannah, police say that they're still looking for more suspects. That's right, John. And in addition to more suspects, police also believe that these suspects are tied to other robberies and shootings in the area. This most recent incident was caught on two surveillance cameras. Take a look. Just after noon on Saturday, a gray SUV cuts off this silver pickup truck on Oxalis Avenue. Three people armed with guns jump out. Multiple shots are fired into the truck. You can see glass flying. Across the street, another camera view shows the truck's occupants scrambling to get out. The victims are blurred as one man runs away, another seconds behind him. In his arms, police say is a four-year-old little girl who was hit by the gunfire. A fourth occupant, a 45-year-old man, was found with multiple gunshot wounds. He and the little girl are expected to survive. Police say two suspects are now behind bars. 39-year-old Marvin Antonio Paguanda Sanchez was arrested on scene. And 32-year-old Yasmi Lidieth Matamoros Mendoza fled to Louisiana. She was found and arrested by U.S. Marshals. Both are now facing multiple charges. Police haven't yet released a motive for the shooting, but they are asking anyone with information on these suspects or if you think you've been targeted by them to call Crimeline. Reporting live in Orlando, Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News. Hannah